I'd love to go inside there, but I don't want to get arrested. You know? Look at this fucking big building. That's that's a fucking uh, explorer's dream. Yeah, let's look at this. Look at that. Look at it. Look at look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Been rambling, running off with the lips big, Pam Anderson, use a real sad man, play the mandolin, sitting home like Cut off. This fucking girl is on her phone, man. Get the fuck off your phone. You just got your coffee fucking ten minutes ago. The fuck? You're still over here, jerking off, playing on your phone. Fucking stupid bitch. Now that's fucked up. So I had a buddy tell me recently, right? Let me know if I'm talking to him. I know some vi some uh, compilations I talk a lot and some of them and I don't put a lot of driving. Whoa, buddy, calm down. Whoa. See that guy? But anyway. I had a buddy recently tell me, right, that people use the term busting balls to be disrespectful and get away with it. Now, isn't that brilliant? You ever have, you ever meet somebody and they're fucking disrespectful as shit, right? And when you say something to them, either they get offended or they say, oh, I'm just busting your balls, but they're being disrespectful. You ever have that happen to you? I'm not the same because you ain't around, man. You feel me up, so I'ma hold it down, man. Great weather to be tailgating in. I mean, even when he's doing a speed limit, just go right up his ass. Colonoscopy guy over here. I know a lot of people are nervous about having a colonoscopy, so let's take the mystery out of it. Damn. Stop sign for what? <laughs> Maybe if you put your turn signal on, tough guy, right? And just not stop in the middle of the fucking road like an idiot, we would let you go. But I'm not letting you go. Not gonna happen. No, not gonna happen. <laughs> what do you see wrong with this picture right here? Anybody? See anything wrong here? I'm sure you, some of you guys are going to see it right away. There's something wrong here, right? Something's wrong with this picture. What the fuck? See that car fucking spun around facing the wrong way with a flat tie or a fucked up axle? What the hell? What the fuck is that light right there? That shit is freaking me out. And All over the road too, a tough guy truck. Let's see what this is, a fucking alien tough guy truck? What the fuck is that? All over the road, look at him. Oh, looks like a light on his mirror. Let's see if he's texting and driving. Ah, let's see. You just signal, you fucking retard. Stops in the room. Run. Damn, look at all the people running that light. Holy shit! Wow, what the fuck? Look at this guy, he's gonna take the exit last fucking minute, right? Or are you just being a bum? Oh, he is. Why don't you switch lanes back there? Volkswagen from Massachusetts, Dumper. Volkswagen Dumper, change lanes back there. Now you gotta get in a high speed lane for as far as you can go so you can fucking get over so you can go to the Battleship Cove at fucking 8.30 at night. Fucking bums. On our recent trip to New England, we stopped at Battleship Cove in Fall River, Massachusetts. Got 
guys, I got a question for you. What's your favorite color and why is it your favorite color? Right? If say you like red, why do you like red? Were you sitting under a tree one day and you got hit in the head by an apple? Why do you like blue? When your girl fucks you and you lay on your back and you look at the sky, is that why you like blue? Huh? When you like green, do you like driving and seeing the green signs like this one to the right? Why do you like that color? Why? She's an addict. Oh, she's an addict. Doesn't even know I beeped that. This is Massachusetts over there. In her own world, doesn't use turn signals, doesn't get in the fucking exit lane. I don't, I can't stand people who do that. Alright? Get in the exit lane, all the way to the right, don't hop on it last minute and impede traffic behind you, and use your fucking turn signal. Lessons 101 from Rhode Island Dash Cam. Go fuck your mother. Hi, how are you? Steve from Texas is the kind of guy to show up to a kid's birthday party with a cowboy hat on and a straw, uh, a piece of grass straw hanging out of his mouth, and he, and he comes in, he goes, Roll Tide, how you doing? How you wanna sing a country song with fucking Uncle fucking Stevie Texas? Steve, man, you know what, dude? I was out there looking for you in Texas. I couldn't find you, man. Every guy I saw with a long beard that was yellow and some spurs on his boots, I said, hey, Steve, is that you? And they would look at me, dude, like I was fucking retarded. But, you know, next time I'm gonna find you. Steve, you're so sweet. Thanks, Uncle Steve. Thanks, Uncle. Hi, kids, and welcome to story time. I gotta share this little driving story that happened to me today, right? I'm driving in my commercial vehicle, okay? On a road smaller than this where my commercial vehicle can only fit in that lane. You know, it's very small. And to my left, I'm driving down the road and there's a line of traffic to my left. There's a dump truck with a big trailer hitch on it hauling bobcats, right? Or well, one bobcat, I don't know if there was two, right? But pretty big size, another commercial vehicle, the dump truck with the, with the trailer on it. And my lane was open all the way, I had a green light. So when I approached the dump, uh, dump truck with the trailer hitch on it with the bobcat, I slowed down to about five miles per hour. They had a, their light was uh, red because they were taking a left. So I get to the, right behind it, I slow down because I'm used to driving a commercial vehicle and fitting in small places when my mirror almost touches it, all right? I had room, right? Not a lot, but I do this every day for a living. So I'm driving and this guy, I'm, I'm almost halfway down his, down his rig, right? And all of a sudden, he decides he sees me in his mirror. He decides he doesn't want me to go by him, right? So, I beep my horn. He starts going in the other lane, in my lane, to say, oh, fuck you, or you, or you ain't getting by me, right? Almost takes my mirror off my fucking, my vehicle, right? So, I'm like, I beep at him, and I'm like, I'm looking at him in the mirror. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Because he's doing it on purpose, so he finally gets back another lane. His his light is red again, right? But just to make this clear, his vehicle was stopped. I would not try to do that if his vehicle was moving. His vehicle was stopped, and I wanted to get by him, and I could have if he didn't come into my lane like a dick and almost cause an accident. So I get on the side of him, and I look at him, and I throw my hands up at him, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" Right? So I can't get my window open, so he rolls his window down, so he can see what I'm saying. He's like, dude, that's really risky. You shouldn't do that. And I'm like, I wasn't going to hit you. You came into my lane. I said, you don't do that. Then I just look at the company name. Everybody probably knows who the fuck this guy is, who this company is, Cotty Construction, bunch of fucking idiots, right? They're always doing dumb shit on the fucking road. So... I shake my head at him and I just roll by him. Like, dude, you're telling me I'm risky for trying to go by you while you're stopped. I'm going five miles per hour. And then you try to fucking come into my lane almost cause an accident. But I'm doing something risky. You ever just, like, 
think, look at these drivers, man, after they do something and, and, and you know how they think they're always right. You're like, what the fuck is it wrong with these people? Like, they don't fucking think, they don't care, they're retarded, have a good night.